Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about grid trading bots. Yes, how to set up a Bybit trading bot and how can you profit consistently from doing so. If you appreciate that content, smash up the likes. Do not forget to subscribe. Guys, you're going to need a Bybit account. Check out the link in the description. You may get some awesome trading bonuses as well. Let's get straight in, click in tools, head straight to trading bot, head into trading bot, and you're going to see the wonderland of all the different trading bots that Bybit has. But what is a trading bot? I think a lot of people get really confused that it's some sort of AI, really clever thing that it trades for you. No, that's not the case. A trading bot is very, very simple, basic algorithm. You can call it high frequency trading. In essence, what this image is showing you is all that it's doing on autopilot every single day, all the time based on the parameters you set. So in other words, what it likes to do is it sets a grid. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that shortly and in that grid it's looking to buy at the lower range of the grid and it's looking to sell at the higher point so it's trying to get a buy there and it's trying to sell there it's going to buy again here and try to sell there it's going to buy here and sell there and so innately over time it's trying to scrape all these little bits of profit together as the price moves throughout its day and that's what your bot is doing on autopilot throughout the day while you're working while you're sleeping that's how these grid trading bots work now of course that comes with a few risks there's a few things you need to know and that's what i'm going to break down for you in this tutorial so head straight into buy bit and you'll notice a few different options and we're going to focus here right now on spot grid trading bot so that's not futures right it's not leveraged it's just a spot trading bot. We can click into it and we can start seeing some details about how to get this set up. And straight away, what you'll see is there's a few different options here, right? These are all Bitcoin pairs. I can change that, right? I can choose any cryptocurrency I want to set up a grid. But why would I want to set one for Bitcoin? You need to understand a very important principle, the first important principle of a grid trading bot. A grid trading bot, a trading bot in crypto here, is innately long the position right? You are long this cryptocurrency. It's taking all these different buys. And so if this grid was to fall to the downside out of this range, where it didn't manage to secure your, your profit, you are long this asset. So it's important that the asset that you pick to build your bot on is one which you don't mind holding. Let's say you built your trading bot on some sort of e altcoin, this, this baby doge or Venu or 3P, and this falls out of the trading range, you're now long that asset when you don't want to be long that asset, right? Because you were just in it for the grid trading bot. So it's important that, and you'll see that the vast majority of people will build their trading bots on a crypto which they don't mind holding, a Bitcoin, an Ethereum, one of the top 10 cryptos, right? Because that way they know that it's a stable coin. If it falls out of the grid, I actually don't mind being long Bitcoin anyway. And so if I'm holding Bitcoin anyway, and I can get some APR, some extra returns on that through using this grid bot, it's win-win, right? I'm in a good position. OK, so straight away, you can see a few different things which I want to share with you. The first thing you want to look at is the APR. So this is an APR. So this is the return you're going to get. Now, then you can look at the drawdown ratio. What's the max that this was drawn down? Oh, this went down 6.78%. In other words, it placed a bid order. It bought some Bitcoin on one of these lines here and expecting it to go up, but it didn't go up. It went down by that percentage. So again, you need to be comfortable with these percentages. So I know personally for me, and again, you would need to decide for yourself, that if I was holding a Bitcoin and it fell 6.78% in my grid bot, I wouldn't be too bothered. I want to hold my Bitcoin anyway, right? So it doesn't bother me if it falls down that percentage. You guys need to decide that. So you can go for this kind of option, which is a high frequency. Now, what does that mean? More lines. Think of more lines on the grid. It's, it's doing more stuff, more buys, more sales, more, you know, much faster high frequency trading. Or you can optimize for something which is maybe a bit more higher yield, right? Maybe it's going to chase more higher yield and not necessarily take as many trades. Or you could take something that's stable, which is just relatively calm, optimizing for less volatility. OK, now, if you don't like any of those, you can, of course, just create your own, right? You can just go in and you can say, you know what? I'm setting my settings and I want to buy Bitcoin between this range and this range. So these ranges, your lower range and your higher range, are the top line and the bottom line of your bot. Above there, it's not selling, and below there, it's not buying, right? I just want my bot to operate between these price points on Bitcoin. And again, if you don't want to set these yourself, any of these metrics, just click on SmartFill. It'll do it for you. They've got all the data in it. Why not let Bybit go ahead and fill it with the best data it deems uh, possible? 
The next thing you're going to understand here is the number of grids. Again, the number of lines. How, do, how many lines do you want here where the bot is allowed to buy and sell up? Because remember, your profit is the distance between a buy and sell. It's buying here and it's selling there. Okay, so this distance is the profit you're allocating. That's the profit you can make from a successful buy and sell. So if you take this amount here, the interval, that's the distance between the two lines I'm just sharing with you. You could make $353 on one grid, one successful grid. Okay, very important. Now, if I then decide to change that, if I say I want less grids, do you notice what happens? Right? If I have less grids, if I drop this all the way down, let's keep going, keep going. Let's drop this down to, I don't know what the minimum is here. Let's go for 11 grids, 1,100. In other words, on my chart here, I've got less lines, but I've got big distances between the lines. So there's going to be far less buys and sells. The frequency is going to be far less, but the potential for higher return is higher as well. Okay? Now, the opposite of that is saying, you know what? Forget that. I want 50 grids. I want this bot to be active. I want it to be moving. And in that case, I want to get 253 as a potential interval for a successful grid. Okay, so you can go ahead and set that again. Click Smart Fill if you're unsure. If you're new to this, you're just getting started. Click Smart Fill to have a play around with it. Let Bybit determine some of these strategies. Now you're going to want to go ahead and choose how much do I want to put into this bot? Now, of course, you guys are smart investors. You've got your crypto portfolio. You're not going to allocate your whole crypto portfolio to a bot, are you? In fact, only a small percentage of that is something you may want to risk in a bot. So you decide which percentage are you comfortable with. Is it a percent of your account, 2% of your account, or a couple of percent of your Bitcoin holdings? And you could go ahead and decide to allocate. So let's say I want to put $1,000 into this. I've now allocated $1,000 to this bot. I can now click on advanced settings. OK, so I can choose my entry price between a range. Entry price is a specified price level at which the bot will buy a certain amount of your desired tokens. If the entry price is unspecified, the bot will automatically buy your desired tokens at the current market price. So this is to avoid like slippage, basically, and to stop you from getting in at a bad price. Stop loss, when the token price is lower than the stop loss price, the bot will automatically sell the base token at the predetermined level to limit your loss on the position. So this is what I'm talking about. You can also, at the bottom of your bot, decide to have a stop loss line. Because remember, you're saying uh, buy within this grid. But if we fall out this grid, maybe you picked a, an altcoin, like I said, instead of a Bitcoin or something, and you don't want to hold that asset, in which case it would be very prudent to set a stop loss under this grid to say, look, I'm not holding this all the way down to zero. If it slips out of the grid, just get me out of the position. I'll take the stop loss. It is what it is. I'll keep it moving. Okay, so you can set yourself stop loss. And similarly for take profit, if this just decides to spike and go out of the grid in the positive direction, all the way to the upside, maybe you should like, you know what, I'm taking profit there. Get me out. Here's my take profit level. So you can set those prices in here as well. Remember, this would be need to be less than 57,000 because that's the lower end of our grid. Remember, your take profit would have to be above 70,000 because that's the higher level of our grid. OK, hopefully that makes sense. Now, you can also click on rankings up here, click on rankings, and you can see all the other different spot grids created by other people. And the beautiful thing is you can just copy these for free, right? If you can't be bothered picking the right bot, if you don't know which one you want to use, you can go ahead, choose the rankings. You can see who's got the best ROI, and you can go ahead and copy this for free. Now, be very, very careful, right? You want to pick a bot that's been running for quite a while. I mean, this one's been really good, 297 days, and consistently now at 109% uh, in terms of the ROI. Why? That's a nice grid, right? He's the champion. You've got one, two, and three plays. And again, you can go ahead and follow some of these bots. Again, a lot of these ones, guys, that are getting the higher percentage on the rankings, these are risky ones. Just like how you would trade an altcoin risky, it's very different from trading Bitcoin, right? Same with your grid bots. If you build a grid bot on Bitcoin, yes, you're not going to get these crazy APRs, but also you're managing your risk. You're holding a coin, which if it did go to the downside, you might not care if you hold some Bitcoin. Whereas if you're holding some Miro and it dropped, maybe you're going to have a bit of a panic attack as well. So take that into consideration as well. At any time, if you want to manage your own bots, just click on my bots here at the top and it will go and show you your current bots. I don't currently have any open right now, but you can, you'll see them all here in terms of your running bots and how they're performing. Now, once you do click on one of your bots inside my bots, you can also withdraw your profits from there as well. You'll click into the bot like this. You'll see a withdraw button at the top. This is also where you can terminate the bot and modify the bot. But most importantly, it's where you can withdraw the profits. So you can press withdraw. You can choose how much of the profit you want to take out. Press confirm and you're good to go. Same for terminate. If you want to stop running the bot, click on terminate and you're done. You're out of the position in terms of the trading bot.
Now, when you do have a bot running and you click into the details of that bot, you'll see a bunch of different stats. You're going to see the total investment you've put in, the PL, the current PL, the APR, the percentage that you're generating, and also how well it's doing, right? How many times has it profited in the grid? How many times has it struggled? You'll be able to see all of that there. You'll also be able to see visuals of how that looks in terms of how the grids are on the chart as well. So there you have it, guys. That is how you get started with Bybit trading bots. Yes, you guys can very quickly, in a matter of a couple of clicks, get yourself set up with a Bybit account using the link in the description and get yourself a bot set up. Would I personally use trading bots? Yes, absolutely. I would definitely use trading bots on cryptos, which I'm holding anyway. Things like Bitcoin, things like Ethereum, things even like Phantom, which I know I'm holding, but I want to get a little bit of extra APR while I'm holding it anyway. Setting myself a nice concern bot is a great way for you to get passive income in crypto. A lot of people talk about different ways of getting passive income in crypto. Saving yourself up a good grid bot is one good way of doing so. Of course, like anything in crypto, every single thing, whether it's copy trading, which by the way, I'll link, leave a link up here for my copy trading tutorial, or whether it's trading bot, whether it's the earn different earn uh, products you can use as well. They all come with risks. You've got to use your due diligence. You've got to engage your brain. You've got to you know actually look into these things. Things and optimize the right strategy for you and your risk tolerance. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash the likes, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.